Final quarter, dito sa game number one, abante po ng 18 ang Pure Foods, laban sa Gordon's Gin, Noli Luxin, who beat the, beat the corner buzzer, gets another bucket from the outside. Well, in the space of less than 30 seconds, five he points. made five points. Oh. <laughs> At yun lamang na yan, labing anim, it went up to as many as 22 quarter scoring, Dr. J. Well, the only quarter that they took, and it had to take a three-point shot, but <laughs> the buzzer beater was the third quarter, 26, but they also allowed Pure Foods to score 25. Depends on Imalo, good defense there. Noli Luxin clearing the boards again. Nadagdagan na yung kanyang rebound, 14 na. Noli Luxin inatake, offensive foul pang itatawag laban kay Luxin. He pushed off with the other hand before going for that. And you cannot you cannot take that away. Medyo nandun yung depensa. So he pushes off against Edmund Reyes. Kung hindi ka mayang ginamit niya himalag natin, you know, hindi, niya ipab- hindi niya ipababa yung balik at just balik at air to air. Apat, Minoli looks in, and the break still not going Gordon's way here. Samantala, itong Pure Foods, very patient sa kanilang offense. They look for the open man, milking the shot clock. Top shot for ah, Jerry hey, Cotinera. Hey, hey, hey. Hurt or not hurt, he obviously is not hurt as far as his shooting hand is concerned. 14 points for the big man ng Pure Foods, anim na rebounds. At yung abante pa rin ng Pure Foods, umangat sa 18 puntos. 10 and a half remaining in the final quarter. He's on. Goes inside. Favorite move. He's got to drive a little bit more. He's not been able to get some out, good outside shots because parating uh, nandun ang kanyang gumi depensa straight in his face. So he's, been, he's got to be able to drive a little bit more. He's a loose ball foul. Uh, so, Alam mo, napag-usapan natin si Pin Season, Dr. J. And you know, last year was a third conference again. Vince Season didn't have a particularly good uh, finals laban sa Alaska. And a lot of skeptics have been asking, Ika nga, si Vince Season ba, Ika nga pang kampionato, pang finals? And, uh, you know, he's beginning to, I guess, hear a little bit about this. Yeah, first of all, he, you know, he's, he's, beginning, he's maturing in many in many ways. Oh. He's not even as good that kind of a player in these ways. So, but he's you know, learning, so... It might take quite a while for him. The only problem is the team is expecting him to deliver in this conference, no? Because how many finals can you get into? Diba? Oh. Yung hustle board natin, Dr. J. Pure Foods. Lamang na lamang. Oh. Tawag ng marker. 16 to 5, 7 to 1. Well, itong naroon na defense season, bumaba sa semifinals by at least 4 points of his offense. Samantala si Marlo Aquino, nakalabot kay Jerry Codinera. And the lead... Down to 14 here, 9.45 remaining. Uh, this is a lot of time. Now, Pure Foods is beginning to play a little bit using the clock, which of course not the regular movement. Godinera. Inilabas. Nasa low pa rin sa Ravenna. May foul na namang itinawag. As Ravenna lost the yeah, handle. He slipped. He slipped. Marlo Aquino will pick up a foul here. That will be number one on the skyscraper. At yan ang pangalawang team foul ng Gordon's Gin. Ah, nakita mo na ipit dito. And Marlo just hangs on him because he slips. no? And he slips and sumabit sa kanyang kamay. Ayan ang sinasabi na iba yung mga senior referee at saka yung mga ganyang klaseng referee lamang. <laughs> just call, they just call everything that they see. Uh-huh. Well, breaks of the game here. Uh, there's, that's quite slippery right now. Huh? Evangelista, however, misses the open shot. Labing apat lamang yan. By no means a one game here. Napakarami pa pong oras. 14 although it's been dominated by Pure Foods. Pero alam natin ang recuperating powers. Paul David misses a long one. Loose ball. Nakuha pa rin niya. He goes up. Gets blocked. And throws it up. He's on. Will pick up the loose ball. 18 seconds sa kanilang shot clock. He's on. Benny Cheng. Libre. Tumira sa labas. Wala pa rin. And a good rebound there by Patrimonio. But he doesn't... Uh, you know, he doesn't deliver the outlet immediately. Dahil alam niya lamang sila eh. So, let's use the clock. Hindi pa rin masasabi, Dr. Jay, na Gordon is not getting their chance. They're yeah. really getting all the opportunities here. Pumarin, libre na naman. And where was the defense? Hindi na pumarin ngayon. A total of eight points. If you're going to double team, you better make sure that uh, you got help from the weak side, which is which did not happen for Gordon's in that play. Maagawan pa si Baldabin. Masyado siyang uh, ikakalagintay ng double team. Evangelista, chinalin si Benny Cheng. Mintis, and he will get his own miss. Gives it to Bong Ravenna. Side jumper off the glass. Wala pa rin. Valdavid now with the leather. 8.06 remaining. No fast break opportunity. 
At nagkakaroon ng illegal B laban kay Alvin Patrimonio. As he stayed too long sa shaded lane. And that'll mean a free throw para sa Gordon's Gin. So gaya na nabanggit po namin mga kaibigan, Pure Foods is 9-1 when they lead after three quarters. Heeson makes the technical free throw shot. The lead is 15. 8-0-1 left. Masibolado is going to see action for the first time for Jerry Cudinera. And we have Lago coming in. Sino pinalira ni Lago? Ang babag na ni Elmer Lago. Si Bong Rabena. Bong Rabena, yes. Yeah, Rabena had scampered off to the bench <laughs> quickly. <laughs> si Chris Bolado making his ninth straight finals appearance. The most by any PBA player. Samantala may foul. Si Bolado. He si quickly Bolado. And, uh, acknowledges it. Yes, that's a record of sorts para kay Jumbo Bolado. He had eight straight with Alaska. Uh, napalipat nga siya dito sa Pure Foods. So this is his ninth consecutive finals appearance. So siya buena, sir. Gison is going to be wide open because of the double team. And he's going to make a triple D. Well, matagal-tagal lang inintayan ng Gordon's Gin fans. Vince Gison finally cracking one from the triple D area. At ang abante ng Pure Foods, labing dalawa. Inside pass, and there's going to be a foul again on Vince Hezon. Neither team in the penalty. Hezon will pick up his fourth personal foul. Third team foul called against Gordon. One against Purefoot. Side court draw in here for the Cowboys, who have led all the way in this yes. ball game. Di pa maabante ang Gordons. It was a seven to nothing run na pasimula itong larong ito. Hindi naka, ikang nga nakaporma ang Gordon's Gin without a Marlo Aquino on the floor in the regular center. Uh Oo, -oh. hindi dali ka kayo Molly Luxin. Ang tagal nila bago naka-score. Oh, nice block! But a good a foul call. And Benny Chen protesting the call. Tingnan mo, sabi ni Benny Chen. Ito, pagsaksak ni Patrimonio. Tingnan mo, sabi niya. Kaya naging kapos. From another angle. As Benny Chang will pick up another foul. Yes, and you can see our Patrimonio did push off. Mas magandang angulo yun. Panglima na ni Benny Chang. At si Patrimonio at the line. He's been also well scouted by a lot of the teams. And obviously in the Championship Series, 2-2-2 kandi ng position si Abin Patrimonio. Let's take a look at the things for the captain. Strength, excellent post-up player, good scorer, clutch player, willing to take the shot and reach defense well. Kaya ang magaling pumasa. Weakness, sometimes nagre-react siya sa mga referee's call. And medyo hindi siya bumababa sa depensa. Well, si Alvin Patrimonio, mga kaibigan, in this ball game only 7 points. But his team has led all the way. One out of two from the line that time. Benny Cheng, he will pick up a foul mula kay Jumbo Volado. And so, si Benny Cheng ay pupunta sa 4.5 meter line. Kung titignan mo dito sa team ng Gordons, the guys that are showing experience are of course Aquino and Noli Luxin plus Benny Cheng. Oh. Benny Cheng knows, sasaksak ako, you know, I might get a call back. You know, and he does that. And he's been taking, he's been positioning himself at the top of the foul circle and taking good jump shots. You know, the, he has made a lot of those jump shots from the top of the uh, 4.5 meter line. A five year veteran, si Benny Cheng. Started his career also, sa Pure Foods. At na trade yan by Pure Foods plus a 1995 first round pick to. Tinebra San Miguel back in 1995 para kay Manny, Manny Victorino. Victorino yes. And he gets, he gets both free throws. Ang abante ng uh, Gordons, Dr. J, labing isa. He's the lowest. Lowest eh? it's been in a long, long while. Yes, ang abante ng uh, Cowboys here. Not a very high scoring ball game now as a uh, scoring a stop for, uh, you know, medyo bumabagal ang plays. Eh, no? Malapit na po tayo, under 7 minutes to play. Naagawan si Bindo Pomaren. Bal David, bounce pass. No, pass to Vince Eason. Gets a foul, gets the basket. And the lead is down to 9 here, plus a bonus free throw para kay Vince Eason. Well, what's happening right now is they're causing the turnovers on the other end because of the foul of uh, Lago. Nagkaroon ng 3-point opportunity dito si Vince Eason. Eason with 15, make that 16 points. Nakita nga natin ang numero nila at the half ng fast break points. And Gordon's Gin averages 17.6 points in the semifinals. In the conference, 15.4. Napakalaki ang labang nila sa Pure Foods. Pero sa larong ito, it's been Pure Foods dominating the fast break. Another steal! Pero may foul na itatawag laban kay Wilmerong. 
Well, the hands are there, and that's going to be a foul. Five team fouls of Bayan. Fourth foul, Will Merong, Dr. J. And the fifth team foul. That's right. Which will put Gorgons into the penalty with 6.37 left in this ball game. Alamo dito sa finals, we have four complete timeouts for the teams, no? plus the 20 and the 30-second 30 30 injury timeout. Yes. Lago! Takes three a three! Three. Yes! Muling sinagot ni Elmer Lago yung pag-atake ng Gordon's Chin. At bumalik ang abante sa labing isa. Tizon will stop. 6.17 remaining in the final quarter. Aquino, laban kay Jumbo Bolado. Na double team, muntik na mabitawan. Aquino goes up, gets the basket! What a move from the skyscraper! And as I said, if you're going to get a Bolado or you're going to get a Kabato to guard Aquino, they cannot guard him. They're going to need Jerry back in the ball game. You know, the presence and the poise displayed by Marlo. Ito na wala na ang bola, pero alam pa rin ang gagawin. Laying down. Oh, what a move, Dr. J. Yung second year veteran. Uh... Ikang uh, rookie of the year last year. Ito lang ang problema niya talaga. Hindi free niya throw shooting. Ano talaga. And he has missed three free throws here in this uh, second half. Those are big free throw shots that he's missing right now. At pagdating sa stretch, obviously, nahanapin na si Marlo. No foul call there as Mark Lemonio and Aquino got entangled. And there's gonna be a foul Hey Benny Cheng. That's obviously an offensive foul on one end that was not called. And Benny Cheng oh boy. will have to leave here because... Six personal fouls kay Benny Cheng. Ang ganda lang inilalaro. Itong malalarong ito una, itong galaw ni Patrimonio. Yeah, this is obviously an offensive foul that was not called. And then of course, after that, there is Benny Cheng holding on to Bolado. He's going to be called for the foul. Uh, and Ong was even there. And Benny has to leave despite his great game. Oh. So Noli Loxin will come back. 14 points para kay Benny Cheng. Two, uh, three rebounds. At yung hustle na ipinakita niya. Ngayon si Noli Loxin ay babalik sa laro with 5.55 remaining dito sa final quarter. Nine-point lead para sa Purefoot's Cornwall Cowboys. They, they led by as many as 22. And Gordon's has never tasted the lead. Jerry yes. with his mass. Yes. Hindi makapasok si Jerry dahil ang papalitan niya sa Bolado. So they'll have to wait for the next dead ball situation or a timeout being called. Sumandala si Bong Ravena, pinautang si Ray Evangelista. Balik sa sampu ang abante ng uh, Purefoot's Corn Beef Cowboys. Bolado makes one out of two. He's not a bad free throw shooter through the years. He had one good championship game when he was back in Alaska. Will Marong si Maksak Salon. Sa atin ni Bolado! That was a good block. Bolado doesn't like it either. Yes. Oh, oh they're not going to take the goal back. Because that point chain. You know, si Bolado, medyo ini-stress niya na maaari daw make up call. Yeah, that's a block. Clear block. That's a clear block. Pasok si Wilmer Rowe from another angle. Boot attack. Wong should have laid up with the left hand. He would not have been blocked. He went going from left. Pumunta siya sa kanan. Inabot siya ng timing ni Bolado. Technical free throw shot first, and then the free throw, sh uh, free throw shot for Will Malong. Yeah, in the active shooting nga pala yun. Both teams, nasa penalty na po mga kaibigan. Limang minuto, apat na put, apat na pong saglit ang nalalabi sa ating final quarter. Muli, nagagalang kami mga kasama kayo, Pilipinas. Lalong lalo na sa ating mga kaibigan sa Laguna, sa San Pablo City. Noli Yala po kasama si Dr. J. Andy Ha for Game 1 of the Championship Series between Gordon's Jane at Purefoot's Corn Beef Cowboys. At ngayon, si Jerry Codinera babalik sa laro, papaltan si Jumbo Bolado. Well, he gave his minutes. He performed pretty creditably. Meanwhile, they need Jerry back. And you saw Eric Altamirano uh, on a kneeling gesture uh, on the other end. Still major relax, but you know, he can sense that the other team is beginning to come back. Kumalog ang tira ni Will Marong, malakas. So, walo ang abante ng Pure Foods. 5.35 remaining. Wala pa rin nagta-timeout dito sa quarter na ito. Ang mga tang abante sa so dalawang put talawa, nag-aahabol ngayon. Ang Gordon's yun, Pakimonyo, laban ni Will Marong. Six seconds sa kanilang shot clock. Four seconds to shoot. Kodinera knows it. Inilabas ki po, Marilago ni Valdovid! 
The lead will go all the way to the basket. He will get it. And the lead is down to six. At ayaw na ni Eric Altamirano. He already called the timeout, pero nahuli. So he's going to yes. ask his player to be the one to call the timeout as they cross. Maybe a 20 second. Tignan natin kung ano ito. Yes. 20 second and just two. And Eric Altamirano knows that they're in trouble. They're just up by six. Watch this play again. Shot clock winding down, Dr. Jane, anticipating Valdivin. Yeah, even though if he could have gotten the pass, malamang abuta ng 24 seconds. Pero iba yung naagawan because na clear home run na nila. Okay. Let's go play. And then, kailangan pabilisin natin yung game. Keep up the pressure. And then let's push the ball. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three, team. Bosses ni Eric Altamirano sa ating Bulldog Super Glue 20 second timeout, Dr. Jane. Obviously, Kufuk's now feeling the pressure of this boar's run. Yes, kasi yan ang nangyayari sa as a pure foods cowboys party as they enter into the fourth quarter with a 7-18 or 17 point lead let's check that and eh, eh, you know they started uh, using the clock you know they weren't playing as aggressive as the way they played the first three quarters uh, running setting up the place crushing the boards dito at magamit na sila ng shot clock hindi eh, eh, mo nang nakaroon ng defense na rin tuloy ang Gordons against their uh, half-court game Labing dalawang puntos ang abante ng Gordons dito sa quarter na ito. At bumagsugundo na lang ang shot clock. One second to shoot. Inilabas pa ni Patrimonio at mauubusan ng oras. Inabot na yun. Yes, inabot na. And now, Gordons Jin beginning to tighten up sa kanilang depensa din, Dr. J. Dalawang beses na yan na ika nga, nagpihigpit sila sa kanilang depensa at mauubusan ng oras ang pure foods for Leaf Cowboys. Well, you've always said that if you're going to come back from big deficits, you've got to play defense. If you don't make stops, you obviously are not going to be able to come back. Yes. And to win championships, there have been always that uh, idiom that you must be a good defensive team. Huh? The defense never sleeps, ika nga. Ooh, Ooh, that's a bad, bad pass. pass. That's the wrong guy to pass to. He was yes. wide yes. open for the three-point shot. And we welcome you to game number one of the finals ng All Filipino Cup. Live from the Cuneta Astrodome. At uh, naanyayahan din namin kayo mga kaibigan, isa pang bakbakan sa Sabado naman. Laban ni Luisito Espinosa, laban kay uh, Manuel Medina for the WBC featherweight crown. Sa Sabado po sa Luneta Grandstand, ang ating coverage will start at 7 o'clock. Ito sa IBC 13, sa Lantala, Patrimonio. Breaks the spell for the pure foods for the Cowboys. Oh, what a very crucial turnover for Gordon. Instead of being able to cut the lead, they lose another two points. There's going to be a foul on Dean Tumaran. They're also in the penalty. So, Baldavid is going to go to the free throw line. Still a lot of time. Let's take a look at commissioner's roles. From far left, as Medina Takpanyon. Two commissioners actually there. See, Commissioner Jim Bernardino, Commissioner Ray Marquez, and of course, Senator Franklin Drillon. At the bottom of the Congressman uh, Gary Tevez, si Mr. Economy, ng ating uh, Congreso. A lot of stars, a lot of the uh, mga suki ng PBA up here to watch this important game number one. Sani Jaworski in his 29th finals appearance as a player and coach. Well, I think his team needs a timeout right now. Uh, somewhere along the line, pagod na mga players. You know, that's the reason why Baldavid missed that one. This one, he makes the adjustment, cuts the lead down to seven. Four minutes and three. Four timeouts, a 20 and a 30 second injury. A lot of, lots of timeouts that you can use to get your team back together. Under four minutes to play here. You gotta keep the pressure. Oh, kalahan, patuloy ang pressure dito. Seven point lead para sa point lead Cowboys. Botinera, six seconds, six seconds a shot clock. Evangelista throws a hard one. Oh, what a basket para kay Ray Evangelista. Nobody picking up for the ball for Gordons because they don't have the luxury of time. Nasa ni Baldavid, natakik ni Jerry Codinera, pupunta ni Jerry, o ni Dindo Pumaren, balik ni Codinera, pull up jumper, he gets in another one, and the lead is back to 11, and they're fighting back the Corn Beef Cowboys at may timeout ang Gordon's Gym. Paddock's Jeans, a legend on its own. Paddock's, the official jeans of the PBA. Almost na po ang oras. It is the final quarter. Labing isa pa rin ang abante ng Pure Foods. Loxin, 
still trying to cut this lead down. He gets blocked from behind by Evangelista. Maxim tried a very difficult shot after getting the offensive rebound, and so nothing came out of that. A timeout called. At Dr. J, yun ang pinag-uusapan mo kanyo. Hindi ka nga pinabanggit mo yung timeout. Napangalaga para sa Gordon Zin, but again, Having some problems. Well, mga kaibigan, on Friday, we will begin a segment dito sa championship series. Ika nga to ika nga entertain more of your reactions. Post-game show starting on Friday right after game number two. At kami po ay uh, magtatangkang humila ng mga key players of the game. Some insights from the coaches and of course, a little bit of fan participation sa ating post-game show. At yan po ay magpapasimula sa Biernes in game number two of this best of seven well, series. Well, alam natin kasi after the first game, kanina may laban para sa third place na pinanalo ng Santa Lucia. After that, uh, yung mga succeeding games of this championship series, one game only, the exhibition game, but of course, uh, it's not going to last that long. Oh, nice play. And now, Pure Foods beginning to put the icing on the cake. Ika nga, labing apat na ang abante ng Pure Foods Corn Beef Cowboys with only two and a half remaining and a bad pass. Muntik na naman maagaw. It will remain, however, with Gordon's gin. At ngayon, si JV Gayoso, huhuguti na si Will Marong at si Sonny Jaworski Kila, naghahanap na ng court of last resort. And probably the three-point shot here. Couple of, some people now are beginning to make a beeline for the exits. As Purefoods has a big, big lead here. Good season, so magot ng bagya. Lead is down to 12, 2 and 20 remaining in the final quarter. Siyempre, yung mga fans ng Pure Foods hindi pa umaalis dito. Oo. Matrimonio. May foul na naman si Nori Loxin. Yung mga fans ng Gordon's more or less the whole night, they've been frustrated. Really have that, yung mga bata dyan. Si Jill para sa Cowboys, buhay na buhay sila. Tumagto sila. Yung mga Gordon's jeans, mga banners dyan. Medyo kainik. Oo, oh, hindi, hindi lumabas eh. No? <laughs> Except for a couple of uh, runs, ika nga. Actually, Dr. Jayton Marong ito, yung stretch ng first quarter, na lumamang ng second to natin, parang uh, kaagad na wala yung crowd at yung Pure Foods Corn Beef Cowboys right away dictated the tempo. Well, you know, he, what was the set of problem in the semifinals, di ba? Na, ilang games natin nakita yan, may down 9-0, 12-0 against different teams uh, in the semifinals against one they were able to come back against another one they also got clubbed you know they've got to be able to get themselves going faster in the first quarter of the yes. game no it's a naiiwan ng parati sila last two minutes is brought to you by new premium dry long and gin just right for you at si Loxin mapapaan ni Bong Ravenna This is a 14-point lead para sa Purefoods Corn Beef Cowboys. Interesting stat, Purefoods is 10 and 2 this year kapag ang kanilang mga kalaban ay hindi nakaka-score. Ikangan ng 80 puntos. Although, Gordon's is 78, Purefoods is 92. Ang layo ng kanila from their scoring average, Dr. Jim. Yes. Alam mo, it would have been interesting kung may oras tayo para sa post-game show. Pero wala tayo for this game. But like I said, sa succeeding, abangan mo yan. Because, you know, you're gonna get the coach's reaction. Maybe not from the losing coach, baka ayaw niya. But from the winning coach, what are you planning for the next game? Are you gonna sit on your lawyers? You're gonna ask the players, what are the things that you've got in preparing for this? Maybe perhaps the losing team also, but as uh, I think the players that would probably want to comment on how they should play this team the next time around. Yes. We're not going to have to have a game. We're not going to have to have a fans. We're not going to have a chance to get 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 a yeah, it's a minute and 16 seconds left, 10 point lead. Well, it's going to be 4 1. Para sa, oh, that's a nice steal there by uh, Riso. And the Bits going to get another one, another three. Uh, and you're not going to get no 4 1. And Purefoods has won the last three meetings. Because a uh, conference ito. And 
Um, it looks like a major miracle or a major self-destruction happens here. And Deerfoots will go four straight. Laban sa Gordon's gin and they will take a one to nothing lead here in the August of seven series. Matrimonio back at the free throw line. Medyo siguro tatawag pa rin ang timeout dito ang Gordon. Sa timeouts pa sila. He's got that in and he makes this. You know, that's still a lot of time. You've got to show the spirit. You've got to show that you can be able to execute. Nakita ko kasi si Coach Salosan medyo tumatayo. We got a sister coach. Tinesenyas nun. Siguro pagpasok na kami timeout dito. Sakto ka, Dr. J. Sakto ang abante ng Pure Votes. May timeout po tayo. Sakit ng katawan? Time for Alaksan. Also for rheumatism and arthritis. Even for toothaches. Only a minute and ten remaining. This is the final quarter. Sampu po ang abante ng Pure Foods Corn Leaf Cowboys. However, possession ng Gordon's Gin. And Pure Foods, only that much time away from getting their first win in the series. Uy, natapik pa. Pupunta pa yan sa Pure Foods. Yan, natapik. Tumama sa vita. Ni Baldavid on the way out. Football. By the way, nagwagi po kanina ang Santa Lucia laban sa San Miguel Beer as we hear this foul mula kay JP Gayoso. In their battle for third, Santa Lucia winning 75-64. So ang uh, Santa Lucia will gain third place and Miguel will, will finish fourth dito sa All Filipino Cup. Well, for the real tourists again, another third place finish. Yes. They're really hoping to and looking, eagerly looking forward to a possible place in the finals. No? Tagal -tagal na. To feel the pressure, eh. you know, like the Gordons, a lot of people expect them to do much better than what they did today because last year, lumaba na sila sa championship. Hindi mo na masasabi na hindi na sila sanay o nakatikim ng pressure. But they did not respond very well. Another time out. Okay. Pakitanong mo kay Andy kung meron siyang gustong itanong. Yan po ang ating score with only a minute and two remaining dito sa fourth quarter. 95-84, 11 point lead para sa Corn Beef Cowboys. As Paul David tries to whittle this lead somewhat, make it a little more respectable. Ika nga at may foul na itatawag laban kay Dinto Pumarin. Maganda ang play yun sa side court pro. Well executed. Maganda ang movement. You know, sometimes they should think. You know, I think Sunny really devises some of the better plays, like I said, from half court from uh, the sideline and the baseline. But misan, I don't know why the players do not move in the game. No. You coming from the backcourt, the way that they move from the, that kind of a throw-in. Valdebid deliberately missing that and thrown out by Jerry. So oh. another chance for Gordons. They're down by 10. 57.7 seconds left. You can need three miracle three-point <laughs> shots and, and, and another one. In 57 tie. seconds. Which is not impossible. Tanong mo kay Miller yan. Reggie Miller. Aquino, nasa gitna. And he gets his 13th point. Only 13 points para kay Madlo Aquino. Malam niya ang kanyang pagpapasimula. And there's a foul given up here by Baldavid to stop the clock. Eight-point lead para sa Court Beef Cowboys. And yan ang ating player of the game, mga kaibigan. Si Ray Evangelista, off the bench, Dr. J, yung mga numero niya. Yeah, 16 points, 12 rebounds, 4 steals. His presence, you know, he's really, that's a small forward position. Medyo maganda rin ang linaro ni Benny Cheng, pero kung sa mga iba, yung medyo lamang na lamang ang pinaglaro ni Ray Evangelista, uh -huh. that small forward position. Well, si Dindo Pumarin, ika nga, Dadagdagan na lamang itong uh, kalamangan ng Corn Beef Cowboys. And the Cowboys are only 50 seconds away and they will have a one to nothing lead dito sa ating All-Filipino Cup Championship Series. At ang ating game number two, mga kaibigan, ay mag magaganap sa Araneta Coliseum sa Piernes. Tuloy-tuloy po ang aksyon and obviously both coaches going to battle with a different strategy. In retrospect, Dr. J, obviously, si Sani Jaworski will have to make some adjustments. adjustments and what are those adjustments? We're gonna make a lot of adjustments as you see this ball being not out. He's gonna be able to get his team to regroup. Mm -hmm. I think he has to set up more plays for his team. Mm -hmm. 
I would think that I think he should try some uh, other types of defenses like trapping in the backcourt because he only does that pag uh, nagkakaroon ng pagtalo na sila eh. Oh. Yung para ka, at this stage nakita mo na they're putting pressure on the backcourt but pag lamang ang kalaban eh, you know uh, during the regular uh, run of the game they don't do that they don't put pressure at all. Eh? Oh, yeah. fouls out nice and had a good game oh, started yes. off well and had a great number of rebounds. Dalawang put limang punto si Noli Loxena si fouls out of the game total of 16 rebounds para kay Noli Loxena. Talaga namang inangat niya yung kanyang laro pero malas lang talaga Ika, yun. Kulang sa suporta. Kulang sa suporta. And they really got themselves uh, they dug themselves into a hole too early and they could never get out it first too early and too deep. That's right. <laughs> And if you look at the numbers, habang inuhukot na yung mga ikanga players ni Coach Eric Altamirano, giving them the accolade and the applause that they duly deserve dito sa larong ito si Jerry Coutinho, uupo na ngayon. Yeah, ito ay bravery na talaga ito because that's a very dangerous uh, injury that he has na. Mas or no mas. Think, Lalaro. <laughs> I, I know, in the way, I also commend Gordon Stell. They never went after his face. That's right. You know, I mean, they played him uh, as clean as they could, a guy that's injured. So, bibigyan mo rin sila ng gano'n. At uh, diretso laro namin. We played basketball. Look at the numbers as we take a look at this foul here. How many, siguro to delay of the game. Delay of the game, warning for the game. Oh, it's it's a wishing charge to the team. And if you look at the numbers, Dr. J, si Marlo Kino, way below his average, only 13 points today. Si Baldavid had 11 points, but it came at the latter stages of the ball game. But again, the bench, ng Gordon Sin, hindi masyado nakapag-deliver. Si Pito Jarencio, only with three points. That was a three-point shot. Yes. Si Gayoso, isa pang uh, nangamote today. No points para kay JP Gayoso. Obviously, yung kanyang outside shooting would have opened up the defense ng Pure Foods. Yeah, he even remember he had a steal and a layup and he missed the layup. And, niya, oh. and Arencio will go back to the game. Nabing apat na saglit na lang. Pinapahaba pa yung uh, ika nga yung initension itong Gordon Sin. It was by fouling. Yes. Again, we remind you, sa Sabado naman, laban ni Luisito Espinosa at Manuel Medina, ipapalapas po dito sa Channel 13 para sa WBC featherweight crown ganap na ikapito ng gabi. Dito lang po sa BTV on IBC TV 13. And both fouled out. Both fouled out. Both played, played very well. well. Yes. Both played very well. I, I would say that uh, together with Malo, and Pita B, they were top four players in the team. And he's on heavy share. But he's just got to pick up his game a little bit more. And I think got to position himself a little bit better for those outside shots. They have got to have more place and then more movement for him to get uh, those chance to make. It's going to be cancelled. Well, there's no one there, Lalen. Actually, the score of Pure Foods is 102 points. It's really an indication that uh, they don't really score that many, that many points. But tonight, parang talagang madaling iskuran yung depensa ng Gordon's Gin. As yeah. Season will take oh, slam it off. He missed the ring. He slammed down. So, dito naman tayo sa three-point. Pagbigyan mo naman ako sa punta ko doon. Si Marlo Tumira. Hoy, tinamaan yung putiki. At yan ang magwawakas itong game number one. Mga, oh, may foul pa. Oh, come on. And still a foul is called by referee De Leon here. As the game expires, <laughs> si Edmond Reyes will take two free throws to formally end this game. Wilmerong will be charged with that foul. Nonetheless, ang ating uh, score at this stage, 102 to 90. As Edmund Reyes takes his free throw. Oh. <laughs> Lana po oras. Dalawang, dalawang, uh, isa lang. One out of two from the line. Final score natin mga kaibigan. 103-90. Nagwagi ang Pure Foods Court Beef Cowboys in game number one. At si Butch Maniego kasama ang winning coach si Eric Altamirano. Butch? Uh, salamat no, uh, Noli. Uh, coach, congratulations on your first win as a, in a championship series as a PBA head coach. Uh, thank you very much. Ano mas mahira, playing the championship game or coaching one? Uh, pareho lang, pero siguro yung coaching. coaching. Nagulat ka ba nagpalit ng starting line ng Gordons for game one? Oo, nagulat ako, but I think uh, they, that's their adjustment. Eh. And uh, I understand them. Uh, Itindihan ko yung, ano nila, yung uh, adjustment na ginawa nila. Because you have to do a different thing. Eh. So... It, it just so happened that uh, we were we were prepared for it and uh, we just played our game. You, your lead was down to six points and they had possession. Anong sinasigaw mong instructions sa mga players mo? Well, una, una, we just have to 
keep our composure. I reminded them this uh, early in the early this week that this is going to happen. That they're gonna come back. They're, go they're going to make a run. The important thing is, is our focus. Can, can we can we get our composure back and uh, uh, maintain our focus on, on what we want to do? Will you be making a lot of changes uh, para sa game two, or will you stick with what worked in game one? Uh, we'll watch the tape. Titingnan namin kung ano yung mga things that, that work, ano yung mga things na hindi. But uh, ang importante is uh, the the positive outlook of the of the team. Thank you very much, coach, and uh, congratulations again. Yeah, greet somebody. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to honor my mother. It was Mother's Day uh, last Sunday. Uh, he's, she's watching right now. And mom, I love you. Uh, this is for you. This game is for you. I also like to greet uh, all the church members of my church, Victory Christian Fellowship. Thank you for your prayers. Keep, keep on praying for you. I know God is pleased with our game.